Angular Schematics is a fantastic tool to scaffold tons of Angular features like components, modules, directives, or even whole Angular applications. But recently I came across a mighty schematic command that I think it's worth sharing with you guys. So let's use the ng new command to generate a brand new Angular project and pass the minus minus routing flag to enable routing. So if we explore the my project files, we can see that the Angular generated a standard Angular application. Well, that's great. So usually what you want to do next is implementing some features. And when implementing features, performance is important. In front-end development, an important aspect of performance is the size of your initial bundle. The bigger it is, the slower it loads. And you want to have an application that loads very fast and therefore has a small initial bundle. Angular offers a great built-in way to achieve small bundles, which is lazy loading. And lazy loading is done by the Angular router. And the Angular schematics offer us an epic command that allows us to generate a new module directly as a lazy loaded route. So inside our project route, we can now start using schematics by typing ngg, which is the generate command, and we want to generate a module. So ngg-m, which is short for module, and then we have to specify where our module should lie. So we want to create a module inside the features folder, which is called foo. So this would generate us a plain Angular module inside the features folder. But as I said, we want to create a lazy loaded Angular module. And lazy loading in Angular is done over the router, means our module is accessible over a route. So we have to use the minus minus route flag and specify the route path. In our case, we want to access it over foo. And last but not least, since it's a lazy loaded module, we also have to update the main routing module, which is the app routing module. So we can say minus minus module app.module.ts because the app routing module belongs to the app module ts. If we run this command, the schematics create us a foo routing module, which lies under features foo, a corresponding module, of course, all the SAS files, HTML files, ts files, and the spec files, and the interesting part is it updates the app routing module. So let's inspect those changes in more detail. The HTML, the SAS, the spec and the TS file are not of much interest to us. Those are just the basic setups for a standard Angular component. But let's explore the foo module. So the schematics generated a foo routing module and added it to our imports array. The foo routing module itself then declares a route with an empty path that points to our foo component. However, the most interesting update happened in the app routing module. In the app routing module, schematics generated a new route that uses the load children function to lazy load our foo module. So if we start our application and open up the network tab in the DevTools in a browser, we can see which JavaScript files get initially loaded. So let's navigate to our foo module. We see that foo works appears so this was the default text that was generated by the schematics, but we can also see that our foo module got lazy loaded by the browser. So that's it. Take advantage of Angular's powerful lazy loading and use schematics to auto-generate those lazy loaded features for you.